In this lesson, we're going to go create a database inside of MySQL. I'm going to run the MySQL client in order to do that, and I actually had to install the MySQL client. It doesn't get installed by default when you install the MySQL server. It's one of those things where I have a server, I may not want the client there because I may be doing the management of the database in some other way. We don't install packages that we don't have to install. So we didn't install the MySQL client and I actually had to go do that. Now it's in place. I need root permissions because I'm trying to get in as an administrative user in MySQL and I have added the minus P saying prompt me for a password. So I'm going to log into the MySQL server now using the MySQL client. Now I'm logged in and we're going to just show the databases that are already installed here. And we've got information schema, MySQL, performance schema, and test. Now I don't have a WordPress database that's set up here. So nothing up my sleeves. Let me create the database. And I know this sounds really impressive. It's actually not. Create database, WordPress. And we've just created a database, WordPress. If I show my databases again, of course, I'm going to see WordPress there. Now, I don't actually have any data associated with it. There's no tables. There's no schema. There's nothing there. It's really just an entry in the system database saying there's a database that's named WordPress. At some point, there will be some other stuff associated with it. But right now, all we've done is carve out a space with a name saying there's going to be a database called WordPress. And that's all we need to do at this point. 